r slash ask reddit people who had covered 19 or know someone who did how bad was it my mom had covered started as a fever then quickly worsened within days she was in the hospital on oxygen seriously thought she was going to die my dad has covered he has zero symptoms and probably had it for days before the results my dad is diabetic with kidney failure and multiple other health issues why my mother who's mostly healthy reacted so badly compared to my dad is uttering bewildering edit for the love of god if you have symptoms of covid 19 please stay home don't ignore the signs if you don't have symptoms wear a mask and gloves whenever you leave your home please be careful and safe 30 year old friend had it he was so sick that his roommates were almost afraid to check on him in his room because they thought they'd find him dead. Getting out of bed to go to the bathroom took all of his strength. He's fine now but it took a few weeks for his lungs to feel even remotely normal. My grandmother got it. In her late 80s and in a nursing home. She probably weighs 70 pounds and can barely sit up on the best of days. She had a fever for a week and a mild cough. Then recovered were shocked she's so weak that when the home told us she had it we all thought she had no chance of beating it weird how it can kill strong healthy people but somehow spare her three friends two of which had families one was living alone so they all decided to live with each of the alone guys house so their families didn't have to suffer the illness and if one of them got badly sick the less sick guys could take care of him they got a bad fever and a dry cough and one of them lost his sense of taste for a little while afterwards. But they came out of it fine otherwise. Edit. Had families. Not had. My friend is in Italy. He got it. And was sick bedridden for a week while his girlfriend had just some aches. Both his parents. His grandparents and his uncle died. All within a week. Edit. To lessen the horror I will add that his aunt had it too. But recovered. Sorry, it's a rough one for a Monday. I had it. I was basically bedridden for two weeks. Barely doing anything except sleeping. Even then, I kept waking up at night a sweaty mess. I spread it to all my family members. But they showed extremely minor symptoms. Pretty weird stuff. To answer questions. When I had COVID-19, I developed hives. The onset of COVID-19 was extremely sudden. Developing hives and a fever of 102 within an hour. I was also very confused and tired all the time. I didn't go outside much prior to getting COVID-19. I did make a full recovery within two weeks. I did not require hospital care. I'm 32 and it was the sickest I have ever been. Two weeks of fever over 101. Bad cough that lasted almost a month. Shortness of breath where if I walked more than a few steps I would end up doubled over gasping for air. It was pretty bad but at least I'm all better now. All the edits. Damn that blew up in the few hours I was asleep. Thank you to everyone for everything. My general condition before this was good. No underlying conditions. I was in really good shape. In the gym mostly every day. Yet yeah, really really sucked. I was never really in fear though because I caught it early enough that it wasn't really hyped that much. I think it was the 3rd of March that I went to the hospital. I work as an Uber driver on the weekend so I'm guessing that's how I caught it. I was on an inhaler for a while afterwards. I tried working out about 3 weeks after I initially got sick. That was a joke. I literally ended up on my back wheezing and hacking 2 minutes into the workout. I am pretty much fully recovered now. The only effects I'm still feeling are just from taking so much time off from working out. I think that's the gist of most of the questions. If you have a burning one that I didn't answer I'm sorry. Feel free to ask me again. One more super important edit. Everything I have seen and read about this is that it affects everyone differently. Please don't read what I did and think that it's great advice or anything like that. I would hate for someone to get worse because they listened to my dumbass on reddit. Please listen to your doctors. My friend was tested positive. He is quarantined at home with a little fever. Muscle pain and a light cough. He is getting better every day it seems. Iku nurse checking in. I just got cleared to go back to work tomorrow after testing positive a couple weeks ago. How bad was it compared to the covid patients I've treated? Nothing. I didn't even have a fever or shortness of breath. Our IQ patients are so sick. All the things you've heard about on the news. Hypoxia. Blood clots. 
Multi-system organ failure. We've had many people in their 30s and 40s with no pre-existing conditions who've ended up just as sick as the 80 year olds. And many of them haven't had good outcomes. Sadly, I work at a major hospital where we routinely get the sickest patients transferred to us from smaller hospitals. So I realize I'm seeing the extreme opposite end of the spectrum. But it is scary. My symptoms were all so minor and non-specific that I blew them off or chalked them up to other things. Spring allergies. Dry hospital air. Sleeping poorly on my shitty mattress. Working overtime. For several days until I realized I'd completely, profoundly lost my sense of smell and taste. That's when I knew I had to get tested. Lo and behold. It was positive. It sucked. But I'm very grateful I wasn't any sicker than I was and especially that I have health insurance and work at a place that paid for my covered specific sick leave as well as having paid sick leave in general. I know there are so many other people out there who don't have such a safety net and that seems very unfair. So, my dad tested positive and right now for him is just like a bad flu. Because the test results came back 3 days later. We continue to act normally as a family so my mom and I probably have it too. We are almost 100% positive that my mom also has it because she is losing her sense of smell and has been having similar symptoms like my dad. There is a big chance I have it too but I have not presented any symptoms so far. Currently in the hospital with us in my early 20, I rode it out for a week until I could breathe. Sickest I've ever been and never had to hospitalized before now. Going home tomorrow though so that's good. I'm recovering now. My sister was an extremely healthy non-smoker who works at a prominent hospital. She was exposed to one of the hospital's first corona patients weeks and weeks ago when naivety was very much a thing and precaution wasn't taken very seriously. The patient tested negative but then positive after her exposure. She didn't take the same precautions because he tested negative when he was in fact positive. She certainly contracted the virus despite testing negative twice. She was ungodly sick and even weeks and weeks later she's still using an inhaler and has a lasting cough and perhaps lung inflammation and damage. She's 31. I've had two friends with it, both with no underlying health issues. Both in their early 30s. One had minor symptoms and recovered after a few weeks. The other struggled to breathe so she went to the hospital, was put on a ventilator, then slipped into a coma and died. I'm currently recovering. I'm a 30 year old male with no health issues so maybe that's the reason but for me it was like a mild cold. Felt crummy from Tuesday night to Thursday. Started feeling better Friday. Now I just have a bit of a cough and weird headaches. The testing process was a pain though. First one was inconclusive so I had to get a doctor's note and go get another test. Two friends both lost a parent each. So pretty bad. My trainer at the gym had it. She is an ordinarily healthy woman in her 40s and very fit. She had high fever. It was hard to breathe. Exhaustion and brutal muscle aches. She found it hard to walk across her bedroom. She lost her sense of smell also. Suspected neurological symptoms too. Memory problems and trouble finding words. And three weeks after her quarantine ended. She still feels like shti. She is out of breath very easily. I saw her loading groceries into her car and it was hard for her. She is still having memory problems. She recovered at home. No hospital. Had a patient die on Saturday from COVID-19 slash respiratory failure. This entire month had 6 patients die. Literally Saturday I just sat in my car and cried. It's difficult seeing people lose mom's dad's brothers. My roommate got sick about 6 weeks ago. It wasn't until a couple weeks ago that he got his sense of smell back. He was barely able to get out of bed for weeks and would have terrible coughing fits. By the way, I should mention that he's 22 and a collegiate athlete. He was probably in about as good of shape as a person can be in before he got sick. My girlfriend got sick too. It wasn't quite as bad for her but one day her fever registered at 104 and I was freaking out. I'm upvoting this post so people can remember how serious COVID-19 really is. I tested positive today for COVID. I'm a 23. F in good health and it's been horrible for me. Cough, chest pains to to point that simply breathing is almost unbearable. Fever, chills, I could go on. Not to mention the swab itself is a nasty test. 
Goes up your nose and down the sinus cavity where they rub the swab up and down for 10 seconds. I now know why this kills people. Friend had minor symptoms but the virus triggered an aneurysm. Now he'll miss 6 months of work getting his full speech and writing skills back. Edited to add. Apparently this needs to be spelled out. Even though I haven't run into this problem anywhere else when discussing COVID-19. Missing work is bad. Why? Because my friend. Like most people. Needs a paycheck for rent. Food and medical care. I know this will shock those of you who are either independently wealthy or 12 years old. He also just wants to get back to work so life can be normal again. Doubly so because this was a new job after a lengthy time out of work after layoffs. His speech has greatly improved, which is how I know all this. Because he talks to me on the phone. But writing is so-so. He is otherwise just fine. Though still understandably angry that it was a cluster getting a damn covered test. I posted here so people would be aware that some patients are having aneurysms. Covered is also producing blood clots in some patients. Triggering strokes. These are subsets of health impacts from a virus that virologists, epidemiologists, and others are still learning about. The word friend, in particular, should be a clue that I value my friend not as a supposed cog in the wheel of injustice that is capitalism, but because I love him. I hope this helps those of you who found my original post too difficult to understand. Edited again to make small clarification that aneurysms and strokes are both happening. For more info on either, please consult someone who has more training than my degree in English. I knew 6 people with it. 2 died. The other 4 got better but it definitely wasn't a pleasant experience for them. My aunt died from it last week. I would say bad. A friend had it. He's okay now but it was scary for bit. He said it was pretty much like a bad case of the flu until one night he spiked a high fever and started having problems breathing. It was like one hour he was fine and the next he had to be hospitalized. He ended up on a ventilator for almost a week. Thankfully he's doing okay now and he's recovering at home. His family also ended up sick but they didn't need to be hospitalized. This virus is hitting everyone differently. For some it's like an average bout of the flu. Some people have severe symptoms while others have minor and varying symptoms. Some people are asymptomatic. Some people need to be put on ventilators. And unfortunately we're losing a lot of people as well. I wouldn't wish this uncertainty on anyone. One minute your loved one is fine. Just feeling a little under the weather. The next minute they might need to be hospitalized. You never know if they're going to bounce back or not. The virus doesn't care how old or how generally healthy you are. It will kick your butt if it wants to. I have known several that have contracted it. But two co-workers died from it on the same day last week. So pretty bad. My father died of COVID-19. Yes. He was in a nursing home and he was a Vietnam veteran. I know he is finally at peace. He was a sniper. He passed away on Easter Sunday at about 6 a.m. Eastern Time for USA. It took only 3 days. He spiked a temperature. From what I was told he had a false negative. My father was not well. Basically, he tried to drink himself out of his nightmares. Thinking of ya. Dad, thank you for your service. I know a person in their 50s who had it. Sore throat, difficulty breathing tightness in the chest, and fever up to 102.5 F. It can seem pretty mild and then go downhill fast because of the breathing problems. A guy I went to school with died from it. He was 37. So, pretty bad, I assume. Dude is only in his late 20s early 30s. And he said it was the sickest he's been in his life. He said it was super duper flu. And then he felt better. And then bam wave 2. He never needed to be hospitalized. But he said it sucked big time. It also freaked out everyone who was around him. Edit. Upvote the people who have it or who have had loved ones die. This guy lived. But this is no joke. I had it. 29 years old. Fever. Chills. And body aches for 3 days. Use Tylenol and fluids. Fianke tested positive as well. Completely asymptomatic. I do have family friends who weren't so fortunate though. And required time in the hospital. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.